go back to the beginning. My fight against bio-warfare all started in a zombie-infested ghost town. It was September 1998, my first and only day as a police officer. Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. Isn't she beautiful? I was about to stuff her. <laughs> Chief Irons? You know him? Prowling around at a time like this. You're after G too, aren't you? G? Don't play dumb with me! Hello? Aren't you Dr. Perkins? I bleed! Not supposed to happen. Sherry! Hold on! <sighs> we need to stop this thing first! Shot. There was a woman. Wait, you mean? No, not Ada. She. You're losing a lot of blood. Don't move. I've got to remove the bullet. Who was that? She was about to kill you. That's my problem, not yours. Fine. Don't tell me. But you better start working with me here. Uh. Or we'll never make it out of this alive. Uh, please, Ada. I need your help. I can't do this alone. You're right. I'll help you. Thanks. But first, we need to find the others. Don't die, Leon. I owe you. I guess she's on our side, then. Lucky us. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. G. My creation will save me. <laughs> but the virus was flawed. Even if you survive the zero conversion with G, you become nothing more than a puppet to its will. Our research was a failure. His only concern now is to procreate. 
people with a genetic makeup similar to his own could stand to birth a superior offspring. <coughs> Sherry, come on, we have to help her. I can't, I've got unfinished business to attend to. You've got to be kidding me. If the embryo's been implanted, only the vaccine from the underground lab could save her. William, it's time to finish this. After reuniting with Sherry, we managed to escape from the underground sewer, only to be faced with a new problem. Sherry became sick. She told us that while she'd been wandering the depths of the sewers, she had been implanted with a G embryo. But it wasn't too late. We began our journey into the bowels of the Umbrella facility to retrieve the vaccine. How do you feel? It's okay. You're safe here. You can have it. It's yours now. For good luck. Thank you. Do you miss your mommy and daddy? No. They're always more preoccupied with their research. But you know, I prefer to be alone. <laughs> Come on, we better hurry. She's getting worse. Okay. Sherry, hang in there. We're gonna get the vaccine to make you better, okay? Clear! I promise we'll be back. Just wait here. We won't be long. That got his attention! Leon. One of Umbrella's failed experiments. <laughs> Ada. This place is gonna blow. There isn't much time left. Leon. You have to get out of here. No. Not without you. It's strange. I barely know you. But I knew you'd say that. Uh... Ada. Favor. Returned.
The vaccine worked, and Sherry recovered, but time was running out. The seconds of the countdown to self-destruction were slipping by, and her only escape was through a hidden subway. Be okay now, aren't we? Sherry, I have something to tell you about your mother. <laughs> the vaccine that saved you, it was from your mother. She loved you very much. Always has. Right up till the end. No, that's a lie. Mommy never. <laughs> After that, Claire set out alone to find her brother. And Sherry and I were rescued by US government agents. We have the authority to do as we please with you. You and that girl. Just leave her out of this. She's an innocent. An innocent who carries the G antibody. Don't worry. We're taking very good care of her. Bottom line is, you have the experience we're looking for. So if you want this to end peacefully, you really have only one choice work for us. And just like that, I found myself in the service of the U.S. government.